Brother Malik, I salute you. Just have to stop and give you these quick words of encouragement. Um, pay that no mind. None of the things that you hear, none of the things that you're seeing, anybody speaking negative against you is afraid. They're afraid of what is inevitable, the rise of your people. Anyone that would ignore your efforts and not encourage you, but strain to see something wrong with you doing, is afraid. They're not only afraid, of us finally emerging as who we were created to be. We can't be nothing else. It's why we fail when we're failing. And it's why we fail so bad because we were not created for this failure. I just want to tell you, brother, that the Almighty, the Most High, is with you and in you. And if you have criticism in a culture that we live in, the more critics you have, the more the Almighty is shining through you, on you, in you. You are a king and a general for your people and don't you ever think anything else about it. Your efforts are duly noted beyond time and you will enjoy them in eternity, but you will enjoy some of it now. Everyone on this page, I'm looking at the page, and everyone that has spoken evil against you, I'm glad you handled it the way you handled it. You have not gave any retaliation to anyone that is saying something foolish and hateful. <laughs> Hate has been out of style on our people for a long time. The haters just don't recognize it, but people who are not with style usually are wearing something that is 40 years old. You just keep doing what you're doing because our reign, not as oppressors over any other man, but as masters of our destiny collectively as a people, our reign is on the horizon. And when things flip, they will never be the same. You know, people get scared when you start speaking up and doing the things that you're doing because deep down inside of them, there is a fear that we are the cream of the crop. See, anyone that has to speak into your culture and criticize you and they've never lived, they've always been on the outside looking in. So they've only looked at your problems and your failures. But someone needs to bring something to all of their attention. We don't run this country. Look how screwed up it is. Look how messed up it is. The people who have oppressed our people are running this country. And it's a mess. People can act like it isn't. It's a mess. And we're not the only ones that are getting screwed over. And I'm going to tell you something. The table is getting ready to turn 180 degrees. I'm telling you, it's going to be topsy-turvy. I know the Most High, as I'm sure you do. I've been talking to him for a while. I am 58 now, and I have seen this day coming a long time, and no one will be able to stop it. We are defining ourselves like never before, and it's scaring the hell into our former oppressors. And I say scaring the hell into them, brother, because the prison of fear that they have been so skillful at constructing for us is going to close them in by their own doing. And there'll be nothing that they'll be able to do to stop it. I took the liberty 
of connecting with you on Google as family. You are my family. You are my brother. I do not prescribe to any need to be affirmed by any of them. And I thank God that you and many of my brothers are the same way. Get back at me. I love you. I enjoy your series on a &E. And no matter what any hater says about you, demonstration of hate thrown out at any person is only deep down hidden hatred about yourself. So that's why people feel the need to analyze us, say things about us, and strain to find something negative about you with all that you're doing. I salute you. I love you. I will see you in the high places in the earth because you are a king. Get back at me anytime. I'm your brother and I'm a servant to my God and to my family.